Hello and welcome. I am Gohar Raza and you are watching Eureka. Let me begin with a story once again. A fascinating story of a boy who was born in undivided India in Jang. This boy, when he was nine years old, faced one of the terrible earthquakes. Everything was destroyed. Once again, when he grew, he faced ill health. His education was completely disrupted. And then, once again, when India got divided, the education was disrupted completely. He couldn't complete his BSc and had to migrate to this part of the world. And out of the rubbles of blood, destruction and death, rose a first class scientist, excellent communicator of science, a builder of institution and a builder of a nation called India. Welcome Professor Yashpal Thank you. to the Thank show you very much. Eureka. We are honored to have you here. You said too many nice things about me. Uh, you have done so many nice things which have affected not only generations but the entire country. Your journey started from undivided India. You faced so many problems. What kept you going? No, problems are not problems. They are joys also. Everywhere one has been, it's been wonderful. Yes, uh, difficult periods. I know at the time of the earthquake when everything was demolished as a child, how I wished I were a bird to be able to fly away from all destruction. How beautiful. And, uh, but, uh, but then I walked through the debris and up and down I remember and I found a coin sitting there. I said, wonderful, I picked up the coin. These are the memories yeah. of, of uh, your childhood. Uh, but one knows that you were always inquisitive about things. You had that spirit of inquiry and humanism, which you never left. Did you realize that these are the values uh, which will lead you to the heights uh, as a child? Nothing like that. I think the only thing is sometimes you felt you heard about great men who had excelled and said, Yar, kaise chalega? if I can stop my breath and walk to the next lamp post without opening my mouth to take another breath. As a child also tried to inculcate determination to do something and complete it. However, uh, when did you decide that uh, science is going to be your destiny? I don't know when real conscious decision about science came. But I do know that in school, generally teachers ask you questions and ask various class questions. And quite often I remain the last person. And uh, I would argue, how could it be like this? And then, you know, in Quetta, Baluchatan, uh, one of my friends, Habib, he was there. He said, yeah, tomara naam to mota sir hai. But this mota sir had a big brain, which was always active and doing something and creating things. Look, I, I never had such great thoughts. I enjoyed myself like a child, like every other child. And uh, <clears throat> it's just that and if one heard something, one wanted to fi find out why, how, that's all. Then suddenly it occurred to me that I was studying in BSc Honours in Lahore. Which was disrupted because you disrupted. shifted. Disrupted. 
but maybe we should start something. So, I, some, some other friends from Lahore also came. So, I went to the head of the physics department, Kotari. And I said, Kotari, I have to learn a little bit. It can be done. East Punjab University is also made. He said, yes, it can be done. तो उसके लिए कुछ बिल्डिंगें बनानी पड़ेंगी क्या करना पड़ेगा तो वक्त लगेगा मैंने कहा ऐसा कुछ नहीं हो सकता हम तो स्टूडेंट आ गए हैं हमारे कुछ टीचर्स भी आ गए हैं और आप पढ़ाते हैं तो ऐसा करें कि आप हमें अलाउ करिए कि हम आपके फिजिक्स और स्कूल के क्लासेस अटेंड कर सकें आपके टीचर भी हमें पढ़ाएं हमारे वहाँ वाले टीचर आके वो भी पढ़ाएं दो तीन कमरे आपके खाली पड़े हैं उसमें थोड़ी और चीजें बना दे ऐसा कर सकते हैं कि हाँ हाँ कर सकते हैं करो करो ये मैं तो सोच दिए थिंग ये विच हैपन एट द टाइम इन द न्यू वर्ल्ड वाज बिगिनिंग पीपल वर एक्सट्रीमली कोऑपरेटिव एंड दे � and it developed to MSc and I finished my MSc degree right there. Did you think at that time that science is so essential for nation building? Uh, well, uh, I, nation building was there, but it was uh, fun. Science we karne wanted to do and, uh, and went around and did it. And sometimes you were surprised that you could actually do things which seemed to be very difficult. And uh, you do things, did also things in, in ways which were different from what anybody else had done. And, and you found that if it worked, it was appreciated everywhere. Did you consciously choose uh, area of physics which was a very difficult area? Difficult in the sense that it was very new, especially nuclear physics. It was, it was new in the world. So you were at the front of world knowledge. Yes. So if you did something, the world even noticed right away. And that was a very important thing. But there was something else, which was a conscious policy on the part of some of the people, including me at that time, that said, we, we won't have to say that we are doing everything. but. Let us begin doing things which are close to the frontier, but where we do have some advantage. And for example, if we work in particle physics, high energy physics, and uh, using cosmic rays, then we have an advantage because we have a country very close to the equator where only high energy cosmic rays come and low energy ones are bent away. And so we are uh, have a great, greater advantage over other nations, over uh, European and Americans who are not. Doing. This was a conscious choice, and it was visible that we could do it. And afterwards, we started flying balloons, like they did in America and, and Europe. And this is the time when even balloon technology was blocked. Americans didn't want to give balloon technology. Well, we didn't time. want it. We wanted to make our own balloons. Okay, we wanted to do things which, uh, which we could afford. We made balloons, and we then found <coughs> that some balloons which we made with polythene, and they were also made in Britain. While balloons made by Britain, uh, by Bristol and so on. They went up through the altitude of 50, 60,000 feet and still nothing very much happened, went higher. Our balloons, when they went 60,000 feet, they burst quite often. Then we started studying and we studied, we found that the lowest temperature which occurs in the atmosphere is around 60,000 feet. After that, it warms up again. And polythene, which we're using, becomes brittle at that temperature. And if the balloon is going as a fabric, it becomes brittle, then it's like thin glass. It cracks. And it cracks. 
So what did you do? And that is a wonderful thing. There are people like like uh, M. G. K. Menon and others. We had wonderful career colleagues. People thought that acha din ke vakat balloon udhayenge, to dup rati. Agar dup ke vakat agar balloon ko thoda kala kar denge, to usme garmi aayegi. It will be warm. It won't it, break. It'll absorb the uh, absorb heat, heat rate. Race. And so, made balloons which were slightly dark, made with polythene in which some carbon black has been mixed. Then it go through, and we'll get very nice balloons. And that was done for quite a while, and very successful flights were done. So these were the innovations. These, were, these were the right, things right. which give you um, a kick and, and right. satisfaction. And we had a big landmass. So balloon flight from one plane to the other, travel back and forth, gave us an opportunity of really traveling through India, through the countryside, uh, meeting people and hearing and so on, and that was wonderful. This was the science yes. of 50s and 60s <laughs> That's right. at that time. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a break and come back soon. Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman color was an obsession. The visual impact that the blue of the Mediterranean had on him culminated in his discovery of the Raman effect. His experiments on the scattering of light. It gave further proof of the quantum nature of light. He was conferred a knighthood, medals and honorary doctorates by various universities the Nobel Prize in 1930 and the Bharat Ratna in 1954. Welcome back, Professor Yashpal. Your education was disrupted. You picked up the threads. You did wonderful work, but you were always a rebel. In uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, I remember that when somebody asked you that how come you are coming to the office or the lab in a kurta, uh, you should change your dress. You said that when I signed my contract, there was no dress code. Uh, were you always a rebel like that? Well, it, it didn't seem much of a rebellion, really to insist that I'll uh, come the way I want to, uh, except I have to be decent. But uh, yes, that was there. But I, when I was said, there was somebody told, no, but you know, Dr. Baba doesn't like it. I said, you please then request, I'll tell Dr. Baba to tell me. So, <laughs> you were not ready to accept anything at the face value of it no, or instructions. No, no. But when you became a UGC chairman and DST, you started shaping the country's uh, uh, science uh, in a manner where the future was most important. Not only in the area of education at high, you were very involved with the schools. Uh, you were, you still love children and, and yes. any invitation from any school you, you are there. So you are young at 88 as well. I was going to ask you that how important was it for you to build the scientific temper in the country? 
you must might remember there was a little pamphlet or book which Krishna Kumar and others and I we wrote which was called learning without burden and uh, and we started by saying a lot is taught but very little is learned because you don't pick things out of your children's lives and uh, you, it is something esoteric and we don't make learning and, and, and life observed overlap each other and so we wrote that and uh, i think that had a fair amount of impact asal mein jo baat tab se mujhe strike ki aur baad mein jawahar lal ke baad nehru ke baat karte bhi jab scientific temper ki baat karte hain usse taluk hai wo ye hai ki jo karte hain aap wo samajhna chahiye sochte hain समझ खत्म होती जा रही है यहाँ तक समझने खत्म हो जाता होता जा रहा है कि कुछ भी पढ़ाते हैं वो पढ़ाने वाले भी उनको पता नहीं कि समझना क्या होता है वॉट इज लर्निंग याद करना नहीं याद, याद करने में नंबर लेने होते हैं समझना होता है वो समझना और समझना हर एक का अलग होता है हर इंसान का हर बच्चे का अलग होता है the elements which go into samajhna for a child are always different koi andar ke jo baatein hain usne chuni hui usko bhi mila do usko bhi mila do and that is one and that i think in a sense what i think nehru also somewhere has said so quietly and i believe is right the real real element of scientific thinking is समझना अगर समझोगे तो साइंटिफिक इनपुट खुद आ जाती है नहीं तो नहीं आएगी तो समझना जरा कठिन हो जाता है कोई उसको स्टैंडर्डाइज नहीं होता है नॉन स्टैंडर्डाइज होता है बच्चों के सवाल आते इसीलिए बच्चों को समझाना भी मुश्किल होता मुश्किल होता है उसके लिए बहुत मेहनत की जरूरत देखिए काफी अरसा में इसमें लगा रहा हूँ जब लोगों के सवाल आते थे और मेरे वन ऑफ माई सन्स ऑल्सो हैज बिन वर्किंग तो मैं जवाब देता था और फिर जवाब देने के बाद मुझे लगता था कि यार ठीक जवाब तो नहीं है ये तो जवाब किताब में भी है ये जवाब पहले भी दिया था इसी तरह का एक और सवाल था उसका भी जवाब दिया था पर ये तो और है सो देन यू रियलाइज कि हर एक सवाल में भी एक छिपे हुए प्रश्न होते हैं अब उसको लेके भी जब जवाब देते हो उसको भी इंक्लूड करिए तो दैट इज ए स्पेशल आंसर दैट इज व्हाट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इनकलकेट साइंटिफिक टेम्पर बट व्हाई वाज इट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द साइंटिफिक लीडरशिप एज वेल एज द पॉलिटिकल लीडरशिप टू इम्फेसाइज साइंटिफिक टेम्पर एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज इंडिया वॉज नॉट अ कंट्री विच वॉज एजुकेटेड इंडिया वॉज नॉट अ कंट्री विच वॉज रेडी प्रॉबेबली फॉर साइंटिफिक टेम्पर मेनी पीपल विल और but why was it important for you why was it important for nehru to to emphasize that at that i i would rather say it was important for nehru and it was important for me that all the more that we were not interested in taking just some statements of of a science or laws and call it scientific understand karna hai samajhna hai then as a nation samajhna hai एज ए नेशन एज ए पर्सन ऑल्सो तो अगर वो समझने लगोगे तो चीज़ें भी करने लगोगे एंड दैट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हमको साइंटिफिक टेम्पर की जो बात करते हैं ना आजकल फिर हमको ये भी समझाना चाहिए अरे यार समझना हमने छोड़ दिया है तो साइंटिफिक टेम्पर कहाँ से आएगा समझना शुरू करोगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली साइंटिफिक टेम्पर आएगा समझना नहीं है इफ यू डोंट नीड टू रियली ट्रूली अंडरस्टैंड देन यू कैन मेक सम स्टेटमेंट्स इन एनी ऑड स्टेटमेंट्स अगर आपस में मिलना है उनको तो उनका रिश्ता होना चाहिए एंड दैट इज साइंटिफिक कनेक्शन सी वंस आई हर्ड यू योर लेक्चर एंड वन ऑफ दी स्टेटमेंट्स दैट यू गेव गॉट स्टक इन माई माइंड आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क 
the same same thing from you you said which is a very serious thing for me that generally society progresses but there are moments in societies when it has taken retrograde uh, uh, path can we avoid that kind of situation for india by emphasizing scientific temper and reiterating reaffirming that we are committed to scientific temper mujhe kabhi kabhi lagta hai ki we are not successful in avoiding such difficult period i think par dusra ye bhi lagta hai hum ek galti bhi kar dete hain ke if we behave exactly like those countries who are at a level higher than us in science accomplishments they are behaving with a better scientific temper not true knowing more science doesn't mean you have better more scientific temper you can have little science but still greater scientific temper scientific temper to samajh ki baat hai to ye to बल्कि उल्टा भी होता था कई बार कि आप इतने घुस जाते हो डाइवर्टेड सो मच विद द ब्यूटीज ऑफ साइंस एंड एक्ट टेक्नोलॉजी पर्टिकुलरली दैट यू फॉरगेट दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉम्ब यू आर मेकिंग इज गोइंग टू डिमोलिच हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पीपल दैट इज ट्रू तो ये 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 बीमारी आ सकती है उनमें जो जिनकी प्योर टेक्नोलॉजिकल अचीवमेंट्स बहुत हैवी होती है डोंट गो एनी वेयर वील टेक अ ब्रेक एंड कम बैक सोन आवाज में रूहानियत खुश मिजाज शख्सियत हमको नशा है भारत का होने का ही कबीराना अंदाज संघर्ष की एक लंबी दास्तान मैं चातक की तरह जीता हूँ मैंने भूख को हराया है कितनी बार अल्लाह के बंद मिली शख्सियत में मशहूर और मारूफ कलाकार कैलाश खेर सिंह सिर्फ राज्यसभा टीवी पर प्रोफेसर यशपाल you have not left any stone unturned to spread scientific temper and communicate science to the people and you have trained a whole generation of science communicators in the country turning point was one turning point in the life and history of the country there was no parallel of turning point before you started it then you had the idea of closing down all the universities and let teachers and students go to the masses and teach them uh, uh, not only educate them but also take the message of science how did you think of the program which was the largest program that humanity has ever seen called jan vigyan jatha 5 uh, uh, crore people were touched do you when you look back then did it make an impact i don't know i still keep on meeting lot of people ab baat aapne to baat ki par bahut ke jo kehte hain ek saath gaye the kiya tha par kitna hua ye nahi keh sakte thode farak kahin padta hai ya nahi padta ye nahi keh sakte apne aap ko khush karne ke liye bhi lagta hai ki badi mehnat ki thi maybe they didn't change i changed i think and i think that is true those who took part in it themselves changed they may not have changed the rest very much 
that's also a measure. Uh, One of the uh, evidence of the change that it brought about is that people started looking at eclipse after that mm. with, with the joy instead of getting scared of it. It did make a difference in my opinion. Well, we, we made quite a lot of efforts to present it properly to them. You know, those days we had a satellite bhi aa gaye the, to teen jagah pe eclipse dikhaya, solar eclipse. Or in the start, me, sab logo ko, and that made a tremendous impact. So I, I think, think we did a lot, and we did make a make a difference. I think it's a sarbarta hai, it's a sarbarta hai. Or dekhiye, ab ye eclipse ka program jo hai. इसमें हम कोई डेवलपमेंट की साइंस नहीं सुना है। दिस इज़ टू डू विद द रियल क्यूरियोसिटी ऑफ़ पीपल, द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ़ पीपल कि क्या चीज़ है कि एस्ट्रोनॉमी की एंड दे आर डीपली इंटरेस्टेड एंड इफ यू लुक डाउन ऑन देम एंड थिंक कि ये उनके लिए नहीं है, देन यू डोंट रियली कम्युनिकेट। � so, communicating science, in your opinion, has been the being of, of, of reaching out to people and changing their worldview, their vision, so that they could come close to science and India could do better. And this should be done not giving a set of... वो ऐसे जो सवाल उनके होते हैं उसके जवाब मिलने चाहिए कोई और उसमें ये भी आ सकता है कि देखिए बहुत सारी सवाल पूछ रहा बेटा बहुत तेज है इसका असली जवाब तो मालूम नहीं है कुछ कुछ बता सकते हैं कि शायद ऐसे है शायद ऐसे है आगे थोड़ा ज़्यादा मालूम होगा कभी मालूम पूरा होगा कि नहीं मालूम नहीं you don't show that you know everything. That is what is science all about. Uh -huh. That you know that you don't know beyond this. And that is the confidence what, which one should have uh, for having scientific temper. Mm -hmm. I would love to continue this conversation, but the time doesn't permit that. Uh, would you like to give a message to the younger generation? Is it, I think all are equal. And I think uh, remain rustic and raw. I think uh, it is important and don't become artificially well-rounded. Well-rounded logo are interesting to me. Remain <laughs> rustic and raw. Don't be well-rounded. That is the message <laughs> Professor Yashpad would like to give to the younger generation. That is the basis for curiosity and innovation. I think the nation requires the younger generation to do good science and spread message of scientific temper. We would like to say goodbye to you, but before that, if you have any questions, queries, do write to us at eurekarstv.com. We would like to respond to your queries and questions. Professor Yashpal has been doing that for a very long time and Professor Yashpal, thank you very much for sparing so much of time for thank us. You. Thank you. It was a wonderful discussion. Thank you. Thanks.